Caution! This is an M-rated game, so the magical chicken insists that viewer discretion is advised. It's time for the Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition review for the Wii. Now before I start, I would just like to thank everyone who subscribed to me. I now have more than 1,000 subscribers, which is just awesome. So thank you to all who subscribed, and also to everyone who promoted me to other YouTubers. You guys rock. So now, let's get to the review. This is my first M-rated game to review, and it is also the first Resident Evil game I've ever played. I've never really been too interested in the Resident Evil series, but after playing this game, I'm very interested now. Let's see why. The story is about Leon S. Kennedy, an American government agent sent to a rural part of Europe in search of the president's daughter, who has been kidnapped. When he arrives at his destination, he gets mixed up with a bizarre village where all of the people are alive, but act as though they were zombies. So I'm not too sure how to classify them, but the main point is that they're trying to kill him as he searches for the president's daughter. This is a third-person shooter survival horror game. The main objective, along with your mission, is just to stay alive. Like I said before, the people in this game aren't zombies, but they act just like them. They're always trying to kill you in some manner, usually with farming tools or medieval weapons. One of them even has a chainsaw, and if you don't kill him quickly, well... That's unfortunate. Killing them off is simple, and I liked how they wouldn't die if you shot them in the legs, for instance. They would instead just be slowed down for a bit, then come after you. Fortunately, you can just blow their heads off completely with a headshot, which usually gets the job done. When you first start out, you only have a handgun and a knife at your disposal, but as you progress through the game, you will meet up with a merchant who SOMEHOW is always one step ahead of you. He will sell you items like new weapons, health canisters, and upgrades for your weapons. But there was one thing that really annoyed me. Out of all of this stuff, he doesn't sell any ammo! What the hell?! This is very aggravating because the only way to obtain ammo is through breakable objects and killed off enemies. And if you can't find any in a tight situation, all you have left is your knife, which does work, but come on, a gun is way better. So yeah, not selling ammo is just crap. Now don't get me wrong, there is usually enough ammo scattered throughout the levels and containers and from killed off enemies, and I'm not a bad shot, so I'm not wasting any ammo. Heck, anyone can be a great shot using the Wiimote. And, if you upgrade a certain weapon's max capacity of how many bullets it can hold, you will be given the max amount of bullets that gun can hold on the spot. But still, not selling any ammo is such a pain. There are many different types of guns you can use, like handguns, rifles, and even a rocket launcher. And when you're in a really tight spot, when in doubt, bring out the shotgun. Man, I love that thing. To carry all of your items, you will put them in a case which, for some reason, you never actually see out in the open. But anyway, to get everything to fit inside, you will have to mix and organize your items so that they can all fit. I highly advise you to buy the larger cases from the merchant, because you will need to carry more and more items to survive, especially ammo. The graphics are excellent. Everything is very detailed and realistic, with the animations being outstanding. The controls are excellent as well, but can be quite frustrating when you first start out. You'll use the Wiimote nunchuck combo to move around, hold down B and point with the Wiimote to aim, and fire with the A button. You can reload by holding down B and flicking the Wiimote. Now these controls are, well, perfect, but the thing that's frustrating, and I'm sure I'm not the only one who says this, is that when you're aiming and shooting, you can't move. You can't run and shoot, and you can't even sidestep. This can be unbelievably frustrating because your enemies like to surround you. Now to be fair, if this is the control scheme that developers intended it to be to increase the difficulty, then they did a very good job. But still, even if this is how they wanted the controls to be, in my opinion, I think the game would have been more fun if you could move your legs and shoot. The boss battles were very fun and challenging. Let me just say, if you run out of ammo like I did the first time I fought this thing, you are screwed. Well, sometimes in certain circumstances, you will be given the option of a quick time event to kill it, which with this boss doesn't take any ammo. But still, make sure you stock up on ammo before fighting a boss. Speaking of quick time events, there are a lot of them throughout the game which could actually happen in the cutscenes, so even if you think you can take a little break, you would be wrong and you will pay dearly for it. Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition is a fantastic game. Excellent graphics and controls, great story and voice acting, great feeling of suspense around every corner, awesome boss battles, the price tag is only 20 bucks, and it's just overall very fun to play. The only downsides I found were one, the freaking merchant didn't sell you ammo and you had to rely on breakable containers and killed off enemies for it, and two, you couldn't run and shoot at the same time, which even if it was the intention of the developers to have it like this, it was still annoying and a bit frustrating. But overall, this was an excellent suspenseful game to play and I definitely recommend it. Now I only have one thing left to say. Why in the world did I wait so long to play this fantastic game? This game gets a 4.75 out of 5 with the title of Epic.